in this problem, I have a non-conservative force broken into different pieces. So I have an into its component. So the f in the x direction will be equals to a y. F in the y direction is equals to a z, and f in the z direction is equals to a x minus m g. Okay. So we can see that this function is not conservative. And I'm asked to find the work that it takes to move from a point O, which is the origin, so 0, 0, 0, to the point P, which is 1, 1, 0, in two different movements. First of all, along the x-axis, and then along the y-axis. Now, if you do one or the other first, doesn't matter, but as long as you do this thing correctly, you'll get the same answer. So along the x-axis, we know that x will start at 0, and it will increase to 1. So these two will be the two boundaries of our integral. And then I know that y is equals to 0, and of course dy will be equals to 0, and then z is equals to 0, and then dz is equals to 0. Because during the movement, y does not change, it stays 0, and z as well does not change, it means 0, because it's always along the x-axis. So the integral will be from 0 to 1 of f of x dx. Why this? Well, because if we were to take the integral of, let me write better, 0 to 0, because, for example, of y, f of y dy, we know that these two points are the same points, it doesn't move, and also dy is equal to zero. So it's actually not even an integral. So the only thing that we are taking care of is the dx. So the f of x is equal to a y, as you can see over here. So we're going to have the integral from zero to one of a y dx. As you can see, there's no x and there is a y, but we know the y is equal to zero. Thanks to this thing we wrote before. So instead of the y, we're going to write 0. So from 0 to 1 of a times 0 dx, which is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of 0 dx, which is, of course, equals to 0. In theory, if we were to integrate uh, 0 and dx, we would obtain a constant. But since we have boundaries, so from the 0 and the 1, then we don't obtain any constant, we just obtain, we obtain the z. But since the constant here is equal to 0, then we don't obtain anything. It will be 0x, which of course is equal to 0. So that is our first part solved. Then we're asked to go from the, uh, from the point 0 on the y-axis, so along the y-axis. So from point 0, y equals to 0, to y equals to 1. How do I know it? Because I looked at the two points that I have right here. y goes from 0 to 1. And then uh, during this movement, x is equals to 1, because it already moved, and d of x is equals to 0, because the derivative of 1 is equals to 0. Course. And then d, sorry, and then z is still zero because we never moved along the z-axis, and so this z is equal to zero. So again, the integral from zero to one of f of y dy. This means that for dy we're gonna have a z. So let's plug it in. Integral from zero to one of a z dy. So we're gonna have since z is equal to a constant, which is 0, we can substitute it in there. So we're going to have uh, the integral from 0 to 1 of a times 0 dy, which is equal to the integral of from 0 to 1 of 0 dy, which is, of course, equals to 0. And that is the solution to our, thing, to our second moment, work. So the work along the y direction, we're going to work, work y, then work x. So to find the net work, so the total work, I'm going to have to do work along the x plus the work along the y, which is equal to 0 plus 0, which is equal to 0. That is our final answer. This is the final work, the total work in our case.